God knows I'm sweating to death right now. This turtleneck is killing me. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. showing you guys this Revlon color silk and I did pick this up from Walmart for $2.92 and we are going to rock this out on this West Kiss lace frontal which is 24 inches girls this is their loose wave hair it is virgin I think it's either Brazilian or Malaysian I'll definitely post the information below but this is the first time that I ever got a lace front from them because I normally just get the bundle hair I did pre um, excuse me, I did bleach the knots prior to this and then I used the purple shampoo, let it sit on there for two hours along with that. I did pre-fluck the hairline afterwards and then now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and um, mix up this Revlon color silk. So I just am going to use the first two boxes right here. And I actually did have to do this twice because it didn't lighten up as much as I had wanted it to. So I did put another box on after the video or after this recording, like a couple days later. So you want to mix your mixture, your concoction up really well. And I'm just going to pour it into my mixing bowl because that's just how I like to do it. You don't have to do it like that. You can pour it on if you want to. But I just like to do it this way because that's just what I like to do. I'm going to just take my little mixing brush here or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to stir it around just to make sure that everything is is mixed up really really well and I'm just gonna start brushing it into the hair you want to make sure that you saturate the entire hair really well because if you don't you will have some dark spots so that is what I'm doing here and just to make sure that it saturates through the entire hair I will be brushing it through thoroughly but you want to also make sure that you protect your countertop so I do have a plastic bag down on my countertop and I am wearing the gloves that did come with the Revlon color silk box so make sure that you always wear gloves sometimes I don't but just be on the safe side and wear some gloves because these chemicals can burn your skin and also can dry your skin out so as you see I'm just going ahead and brushing it on and I will take this over to the back side of it but once I start brushing it into the hair that is when I will flip it over I do make sure to basically penetrate the entire unit by just going in between the hairs and also brushing it with the brush that you do see right there on the left side of me now when you're brushing it you want to make sure that you are just doing good heavily strokes that way you're getting it all the way through you want to brush it all the way to the end and if you don't want this to be on the entire hair like I do I do prefer the dark roots then try to make sure not to take it all the way up and just take your time brushing it it does get a little bit tedious and let me tell you something you better work out because my arms be getting tired doing this especially the brushing part that's like the most strenuous part to me but you know it is what it is this hair is actually really nice it did take to the dye really well but color silk doesn't lift it as much you know it does show you on the box that it will go blonde or like a lighter brown if you have darker hair but you know you it does take several boxes to use now if you're wondering why I don't use the bleach on it sometimes the bleach is a little bit more harsher um, when you're processing hair and it can actually remove the curl pattern so if you want to keep the curl pattern but you just want like a chestnut brown or just like a lighter auburn brown I would just highly suggest using like a box dye to me my favorite box dye is the dark and lovely because that one which is the very lightest one I think it's called ginger blonde that is the lightest and it will get your hair a lot lighter but I wanted to see how the color silk blonde worked on this because normally I just do use the um, dark and lovely or the cream of nature also is the best one cream of nature I think is the ginger blonde I forget what the name of the dark and lovely is but and I forgot what the name of this box is too but you know if you can tell by the picture you can pick up at Walmart color silk is really inexpensive two dollars and ninety two cents you can't beat that versus using like bleach sometimes bleach over processes it and it also will give you these brassy orange tones when you're using bleach so that's a lot of the other reasons why I do prefer to use sometimes the box dye because I just try to avoid the brassy orange tones and I, sometimes I really don't want to do too much work so as you guys see I'm just going to continue brushing it through 
do the entire wig so that way I can just get all of the color on and once that's done I'm going to wrap it up in this plastic bag and I will allow it to sit onto the hair for about an hour sometimes I leave it on for two hours depending on the you know hair texture or just you know just me in general but if it's virgin hair it doesn't hurt for like an hour or two what's up you guys what's up what's up what's up it's your girl you see me in wearing this shirt and like two other videos just keep in mind i try to do enough videos in one day so that way i don't have to do them every day plus i really didn't feel like changing my shirt today because i am kind of in a rush but anyway let me tell y'all something um I'm, i have worked with this company on numerous occasions and i've never gotten a lace front wig from them i've never gotten a wig from them in general they always send me their bundle hair i really honestly did not even know they sold wigs or lace fronts on their website because i just never took the time to look and maybe they didn't at the time but they do now and hunty girl let me tell y'all something they got a nice ass freaking wig okay so this is west kiss hair of your hair kiss your beauty okay sometimes these slogans really have to like change a little bit first of all i've saved these because i wanted to show you guys these so bad but in the box comes a wig cap cute little silky white bag that you can carry a wig in and take along with you but these mink 3d lashes that came in here is bomb as hell these are mink lashes that they sent okay girl these are really nice these are really nice mink lashes they're not as full as some people would like them i like them a little bit fuller but these are decent these are really nice i think it was either 22 or 24 inches i can't really remember but i'll definitely link the inches below for you guys but it was a it's it was it still is a loose wavy lace front okay and it does have the combs in the front like right here they seem like they're a little bit further back than most and then there's the comb and the adjustable strap in the back i did bleach the knots i dyed it twice the first time I used was the um, Revlon uh, whatever you call that which is like two dollars ninety seven cents at Walmart I used that and it made it a little bit light not as light as I had wanted it to so I went back in and then dyed it again with the same box dye and brought it out a little lighter and I did wand curl it because the the waves are still there, but I wanted to try something totally different. But let me tell y'all something. When you bleach your knots, I would highly suggest when you put the purple shampoo on to your knots after you have bleached them to let it sit for like two hours. Because if you let it sit for like two hours, just the purple shampoo on here after you've lathered it up, your knots will not be brassy. Your lace will not be brassy at all. But damn, that's all you got to do. So I'm going to cut the lace off of this and we're just going to see how this look. Hopefully it come out really, really nice. You know what I'm saying? So let's get on to the favorite part, my favorite part of this video, which is installing the wigs so I'm just going to place the combs into my cornrows um that's not anywhere near my edges thank god because I'm so trying so hard to grow them back so as you guys see here I'm just pulling the wig down to my ears because I want to make sure that it's customized so I'm going to cut off that extra piece of lace so that way the lace is not flapping over my ears as you see right here once you do this it will give you the proper fit normally when you get these wigs they do um are standard so of course sometimes depending on your head size circumference Size, the wigs may need to be a little bit you know cut customized and I'm going to take out some hair on the sides just so that way I can do some sideburns but prior to that I'm just going to customize this side so that way I can also get that ear tap to fit properly right over my ears so this is the part where I always put in sideburns I did the opposite side prior to this so that way I didn't waste too much time and I'm just going to cut off the wispy hairs and the actual sideburns now the hairline on this was a little bit lower than normal but you know that's to be expected because this is a standard size and i did use my got to be glam force gel which i actually am in love with along with that i'm going to use the matching hairspray and i just sprayed that on the brush because i really didn't want it too much onto the hair and i'm also going to take that hairspray and spray it onto the lace as you guys seen and just brush that into my um, brush the hairs into that as well as that I will be taking my blow dryer just to dry the product But prior to that I'm just going to fix up the sides a little bit try to make the hairs not so baby hairish and noticeable and Just pull out those wig clips and style it a little bit for you guys to see the curls came out good I did use a one and a half inch wand barrel and um, it took me a little bit of time, but I decided just to do these type of wand curls because, you know, it is loose wave hair. It does have a very pretty natural curl pattern, as you did see in the beginning of this video. But I wanted to try something different. So that is the reason why I did the wand curls, especially for the color. I wanted the color to really, like, you know, 
pronounce itself. Now, just to go ahead and dry the product that I use, which is the hairspray, I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm just going to smooth my edges down. Normally, you can do this with a hot comb, but blow dryer with a nozzle is so much easier and just, just serves the purpose for me, especially with this type of style. And just to make sure that the part is laying flat, I'm also going to take that same blow dryer with the nozzle and just press down into where the part is at and just downwards a little bit and upwards in the front so that way all of the hairs are lying flat you can do this this is optional you can also use your hot comb if you want but i just prefer to use the blow dryer because it makes life a lot easier and much faster and just to loosen the curls a little bit i'm going to be using that got to be styling mousse which i absolutely love so this is the finished look you guys it's very full and i actually do like it it doesn't come out this full if you just use the wand the regular loose waist but with the wand curl you're good girl okay you guys so i'm gonna make this really really quick because the video is already long enough the hairline is a little bit low than i'm used to but i always tell you guys because my head is long and my hairline is back here that's my natural hairline I can put a hairline down here. You guys will probably think it looks natural. But for some, you may want to cut away some of the lace off of the hairline. But let me tell y'all, other than that, um, I think it's a really nice wig. I did have to customize it to the sides. That's normal. But it was just a little bit different for me for versus other wigs. I'm not really sure if this is their first time making wigs. But this is a lot of hair. Like the way I curled it, make it made it really big and full. But it came out good. I like the color that it came out. And the curls do actually look pretty. Once you wash it, it's going to go back to... Um, loose wave so it's not going to be this big because this is the curls that gave it so much volume which i appreciate because listen let me tell y'all something i try to be different or wear something different all the time but i'm kind of basic so i like to just keep it simple but for this particular style i like it it's not too much hair you can definitely make it more than what it is by just particular curls but you know normally my baby hairs or wispy hairs wouldn't be so thick like this but being that the hairline is down some it's it's different but i like it it's not bad like it doesn't look too bad but if you're hairline is not like if your forehead or your head is not long like mine's and your hairline is lower then you're definitely going to have to do more customizing but overall the experience with this unit was great you know this is the first time i ever had a lace front from west kiss hair and they got bomb ass hair like this is probably like the seventh time for me working with them i always like to work with the same companies because if they're reputable and i have no problem then it's no problem so you guys i'm coming right now all right, got to go. That's Mumsy. You know, I'll leave all the information down below for you babies. Let me know what you think about this hairline. Was it just too much? I love you. I got to take this turtleneck off. Girl, I'm hot and dying. Like, you know, I don't like anything on my neck. I tell y'all that all the time. Like, I hate wearing stuff on my neck. Whew. Plus, it came with another shirt. A girl about to ride out. So, I love you. See you soon. Rate, comment, subscribe, and stuff. And check out West Kiss Hair because this is bomb. Like, this unit is really pretty. And it is 24 inches, but because of the wand curls, it's super, like, it's right here now. But, girl, yeah, Tanti, what do you think about the color, baby? This color came out pretty. Like, this is pretty. I'm just like, wow, with the hairline. But it's not really bad. So, if you pre-pluck too much or if it fall out, you know, because the hairline will fall out sometimes if you cut the lace too close. If it fall out, baby, you still got room to keep on going. Yes, it's cute though. I'm gonna go put on my salsa dress that I ain't never wear no more, and I'm gonna go salsa around the house with some salsa sauce. I love you. Stay diva, diva delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All the info will be in the thumbs and the thumbs up button. You know what to do, guys. I will see you soon.